Hello, I'm Leslie Kenton. I once spent a night lying on a platform above an animal watering hole, staring into the vastness of space and beholding the great fathomless mystery of the African sky. Aaron, my youngest son, then only three years old, lay curled up next to me like a kitten lost in his dreams. I was dazzled by the inconceivable expanse of the sky whose darkness was overcome from the light of billions of stars that lived in it. I really lost myself in timelessness and, and in infinity, and that night I came not to think or to wonder, but to know with absolute certainty in every cell and molecule of my body that this cosmic world that I was looking into it was not something separate from myself, nor I from it. We were, in a way that I will never be able to understand rationally, we were one being. And this was one of the greatest moments of my life. You know, like the proverbial iceberg, most of us live with the lion's share of our potential for freedom and joy and creativity and authentic power. Submerged beneath a sea of unknowing, we, we go about our day-to-day -day lives with doing their duties and pleasures and conscious only of what comes to us through our five senses. How does it taste? How does it feel? What does it sound like? What do we see in front of our eyes? Meanwhile, beneath that vast ocean of consciousness that constitutes what it is to be fully human, our greater selves hibernate, waiting to be awakened. <laughs> Sometimes, when we fall in love perhaps, or when we're faced with an event of life-shattering proportions, like a critical illness, or, or the death of a close friend, or then a submerged area of our being uh, erupts in magic or horror and often in surges of passion and energy and beauty. Then, for a time, the mundane quality of everyday life is replaced with a sense, a sense of expanded being. Not only do we feel more alive, we wake up to find that familiar things like well, the tree that stands outside our bedroom window, or, or the cat that greets us when we come home each day, or a simple shell we picked up and slipped into our pocket while walking on the beach. These ordinary things, then, take on a luminosity which we have no way of explaining. Other times, without warning, while listening to music or, or walking down a city street, we're, we're suddenly gripped with a sense that the world is far greater than we ever imagined it to be, and a certainty that all we see around us somehow is us. Now, while the experience lasts, everything seems right in the world. But then, like the sun at the point of setting, everything fades beneath the mundane horizon, leaving only the faintest wisp of color to remind us that we once stood in all its glory, felt its rays on our bodies, and knew that being at one with the universe brings a sense of meaning to our own life and to the lives of others that is simply indescribable. The greatest desire I have is to live my life conscious of the oneness to which we all belong. After all, the magnificence of that African sky not only stretches out to infinity above us, it lies within us, calling to us, just asking us to discover that it is who we are. Thanks for listening.